Across the next three videos, we are going to be exploring the different elements that made up the large site of Crystal Palace Park. From the main Crystal Palace building itself, to the fountains, attractions and many different forms of unique transport found within the park. In today's video, we will be exploring the Crystal Palace Park, looking for any historic remnants and the attractions that still exist today. Starting at the bottom west side of the park, let's look at the original dinosaur park that is still popular today. The dinosaur park opened in 1854 along with the palace itself, as the first dinosaur sculptures in the world. The models were designed and sculpted by Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins, representing the latest scientific knowledge at the time, hence why they aren't the most accurate of looking dinosaurs based on today's knowledge. There are various dinosaur sculptures and other extinct animals across this large manicured area of the park. The sculptures were Grade 2 listed in 1973 and are now Grade 1 listed after a restoration in 2002. The dinosaur park is still as popular and as beautiful today as it was in 1854. We are now going to take a look at the two large fountain basins at the bottom centre of the park, starting with a smaller fountain pond that cascaded down into one of the large basins. This part of the fountain basin has been sealed off for many decades, but it is still visible through the fence and preserved by the foliage. It would have been a rectangular shape and featured a cascade down the hill and into the west basin. Here's an illustration of what it would have looked like in relation to the large West Fountain Basin. As we headed towards the West Basin, I spotted this concrete block in the middle of the old rosary site. It looks like some kind of a foundation. Has anyone got any ideas what this could have been? On my way towards the centre of the park, I stopped to show the former site of an attraction from the Festival of the Empire. This would have been the site for one of the many switchback railways to be found around the park at the festival. In modern terms, it was a roller coaster that had to be turned around at the opposite end so it could come back to where it started. It was located right here on a straight section of land long before the trees took over. So I'm just heading towards the main central walkway right through the centre of the park and onwards up to the palace. Now all this bottom section here, and I'll show you in a minute, had a fountain basin, a very large one, either side of the walkway. But just before we get there, I want to have a look down here because since they built the sports centre, which is just behind us here, in the fountain basin, all of this is 50s and 60s concrete rubbish, basically, that they've slapped on top. There used to be grand staircases and avenues 
and fountains all down here. Now, I'm going to slightly venture off the beaten track and hopefully we're going to find some things. So the first thing that I've spotted at the side of the concrete, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but there is a staircase just in them trees there. I'll try show you from the other side. They go down there. So this would have been the Grand Avenue through down to the entrance at the bottom of the park. And the fountain basins would have been just behind me, the first ones anyway. And now we're faced with this concrete monstrosity. But just look, the Grand Avenue has disappeared from up the center of it, where you had the cascading fountains going up as well. And we've now got this. Just makes you wonder what they were actually taking in the 60s for them to pass and build that. So here's those stairs from the other side. I managed to get down underneath the bridge. I'm not sure if this is an original Victorian staircase. I'll have to check the map and confirm it below. So I'm now underneath the concrete structure. That's the main avenue down there, just behind the ice cream van. You would have had a grand staircase heading up here. And then on this level here, you would have gone straight forward. And again, there would have been another grand staircase in front, making its way up the hill towards the palace, which would have been right at the top of the site up there. But as you can see, we've got this uh, concrete walkway now, but right in here, again, would have been the fountain basins. I would have been stood inside the basins now. So you had one on the left here, which is now a sports stadium. And then you had the one on the right over here, which is now the uh, sports center. Now I was hoping to find some remains down here of the original path going through or even the stairs or anything like that, but there's absolutely nothing. You can just tell when they built this sports center here in the 60s, they've just demolished everything within the vicinity and uh, just, it's gone basically. Can't find anything that resembles it. Now this is the original Grand Center Walk, heading down to the Penge Gate at the bottom of the park. We are going to head down here and then up the east side of the park towards some more original attractions as you can see today, it's a food festival. Obviously, I cut out the bit where I'm scoffing a lovely gyros and throwing it all over my shirt. Just on the right hand side of the Grand Centre Walk is also the original boating lake. That's still in use today and it was also known as the Lower Lake. So I'm now at the bottom end of the park near the Penge entrance and the Grand Avenue that I just walked down in the middle used to have a large circular fountain there as well and I'm talking many years ago, probably the 1850s. Now just behind me here is the council depot but it used to be a large pump house here. I'll just turn you around and show you. So this was a large pump house but I've just spotted something in the council depot over here. And I think it's some statues from the original Crystal Palace at the top. A lot of the statues have gone now from the uh, actual terraces at the top. So this is the main bottom right section of Crystal Palace Park. Very busy today because of the weather. But you can see. Crystal Palace Park, you know what's going on. He knows. He knows. You can see how busy it is today because the sun's out. But all behind me here used to be a large cricket pitch and a cricket pavilion. There's also a small holding pond or lake down here as well to hold water, ready to be pumped back up to the top of the hill. So this is what is known as the Middle Reservoir. It's now a local fishing place some nice little uh, piers over there for fishing. This was basically made to hold the water for the central sections in the park for the fountains. So you had three major reservoirs in the park. One being the main lake down at the bottom of the park. Then you had this one which was the middle one. And then you had the large reservoir right at the top near the palace. And then you had the water towers up there as well. That was for the pressure. So you had three uh, reservoirs coming through the park. Now the bottom one I showed you the lower engine house down there or the pumping house. There was another pumping house just up here which is now gone as well. And just here's the location for the old pumping house. 
right next to the stage. Now you can just see a brick building in there, but it's only a tiny part of one, but it's definitely a Victorian building. It's just literally the size of a lift shaft now. So what I'm coming up to now is a modern art installation, which is actually a live music stage just around here, but it has fallen into disrepair. Now believe it or not, but that's actually water in front of the stage. It looks like concrete from here. I just point you around. It's covered in uh, algae. So it looks like a surface, but it's actually water. Yeah, this stage here has hosted quite a few very famous acts in the day, back in the day. But this wasn't the original, like I say, this is, I don't know, I, can, I can't even tell you the year, but I'll put it in down below. But this originally here was an amphitheater back in the Victorian times. I used to sit around here watching performances down here. But as you can see, it's seen better days now. The staging's all gone through, there's no wood left on it, it's all rotting away. So this here is one of the other original features in Crystal Palace Park that's been here since day one pretty much. This is the famous hedge maze and it is a big spiral maze right in the middle of the park and it's still here today and it's still open. As you can see I'm stood right in the middle of it now. But it's amazing how this has lasted right up until today in its original location as well. And it looks in pretty good shape to be honest. I think it's maintained by the council these days. But anyway, I've been in here about 20 minutes <laughs> and it's hot and I'm stuck. I need to get out and get some water. So I'm now stood right in the center of the park on the central avenue that would have gone down the middle. Now, the large concrete section, which is taken over by the sports centre, or the monstrosity as I will call it, is behind the camera down there, and I'll turn you around and show you that now. So this would have been the original Grand Avenue down the middle, and where the concrete section is it would have continued down, but instead the concrete section bridges the old fountain basins either side of it. Now just here, on both sides of this avenue here, there was what was known as cascade fountains going down. I'll try show you a picture of that, or at least show you what it was. There was one on this side, and also one on this side. But this curious thing about the one on this side is there is now tennis courts built on where the site of the old Cascade Fountain was. You can see the uh, tennis courts heading down the hill there, one after the other, just like the fountains would have done back in the day. This would have all been water cascading down at the side of this avenue here. Now I've no idea what this is supposed to be. Is it some 60s idea of a sculpture? I'm not sure. Now also on this central avenue, just a bit further up towards the palace, there was another large fountain basin. This was a huge central fountain, circular, with a massive fountain in the middle. And I'm glad to see it's been kept, or not. Look what's replaced it today. An ice cream van and a car park. Not very imaginative, I must say. It's such a shame that all that disappeared. It was huge. So when I was saying earlier on about the fountain basins along this lower level here, have all been filled in. There's one that looks like a fountain basin, but I'm not sure if it actually is. There's a fence in a circular fashion with some, uh, what looks like water plants. And it looks like water in there, but I can't, it's quite deep, but I can't see the actual water itself, but it must be at the bottom. But it's in a circular fashion. So this to me looks like a fountain from above anyway, or the basin. It could have been built on the exact spot where the basin was. So I think, if I remember rightly, you had four of these all along this bottom section here with massive jet fountains going up as well. 